So you can see how I've just stressed out this drive. And it's just really running really, really well. It's running hot, but really not bad. Let's do the whole look. Check out this whole video. Hey guys, welcome back to your review channel. Today, I want to make a follow-up video. I did this review the other day, actually a day ago, and almost 600 views already. And I want to thank everybody for all the comments they made regarding uh, the thermal pads and backwards compatibility and things like that. So I really want to thank everybody for, for making those comments. It means a lot to me. Uh, I did do a thermal test. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I ran this for a half hour um, consistently, and I want to show you the results, so stay tuned. I have the thermal gun on here, so we'll see how hot this got. This got pretty hot, so let's stay tuned with that. Um, but I think the enclosure is really good. So one of the comments was that, um, and I asked someone in the comments uh, when I was making the video about the thermal pads. I put one on each side of the chip, and one person made a comment and said that you shouldn't put it on the bottom of the chip because it sits where the controllers are and all the electronics from below that. And I took it apart and opened it up, and there is plenty of clearance, uh, but that was a really good uh, tip. I like that. I think this will be okay. I checked underneath. There was definitely clearance underneath that for the heat to dissipate, and it wasn't touching the bottom of the log of that board, logic board, I guess it would be, or some kind of board on um, the bottom of this, so it wasn't touching that uh, because it's such a thin, thin pad that it didn't touch it. A thicker pad would have touched it and would have heat to transfer the heat to the bottom of the electronics area, and that would have been bad. Uh, so you'll see the results in a minute. It really performed really, really well for a half hour straight uh, I couldn't do a heavy load someone else made a comment saying you could put a heavy load on the on, on the on the drive and I didn't really have large enough files but I ran the black magic for a half hour straight and it got pretty warm so I think that was you know is writing writing and record you know reading and writing back and forth back and forth all that time for a straight half hour I'm gonna look at the results in one second so again I want to thank everybody for watching this video I really appreciate that all the comments really mean a lot to me thank you so much leave some comments for this one as well helps the algorithm helps the channel and I'm learning a lot about these drives, and I'm new to, to this type of item. But this is the item that I did receive. I purchased it myself. I made a, a video about that. Uh, here it is right here, uh, the Asus uh, external drive. This is um, a nice quality drive, 40 uh, gigabits per second, I believe that what that means. Uh, M.2 and NVMe SSD enclosure. So I did a review of that. I'll leave a link at the end of this video for that full unboxing. You can see that and how I installed the chip. I installed the Western Digital um, and I think it was the N770, something like that. Uh, take a look at that video, you'll see that chip, it's the fourth generation, really works well. Um, didn't really overheat too bad. Take a look at the video, watch this uh, example, I'm gonna show you this 30 minute video. I'm gonna zip right through it, I'm gonna show you what I did and um, show you uh, the results at the end, so you'll see. So I think it's okay putting the two thermal pads on this one because it didn't touch the bottom of the, of the, of the enclosure. Uh, uh, where the electronics are and it didn't heat that part up so but this did get quite warm I have to say it did get quite warm okay let's get to that test I'm going to show you what I did hey guys don't forget to like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this type of video it means a lot to me I really do appreciate that and everyone making all these comments and watching the video it's great I really appreciate that it really 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 means a lot to me and if you want me to do uh, other videos or other things like this let me know reach out to me and um, like I said I purchased this myself and all the, the opinions and the comments are totally mine uh, for sure. Uh, but if you are interested in purchasing this item, I do get a small commission just to be uh, clear and transparent. And I do get a uh, small commission it will cost you nothing, just so you know. Okay. All right, guys, let's see the results of that test. So if, before we get to the thermal test, I want to show you that in a second. I just want to do a quick recap of the, of the video I did the other day. This is the uh, drive that I received, an enclosure uh, for the uh, M.2 and NVMe SSD enclosure. Now, this is a really nice enclosure, I said before. And here is the chip I installed. This is the uh, Western Digital Black SN770, and I made the whole review of that. I'll make a, like I said, I'll put it at the end of the video, show you everything. This is just a quick snippet of exactly what I did, and just give you a little recap of what happened. So I got two thermal pads, and I put one on the bottom and one on the top, and I had some comments saying that it wasn't really a good idea, but I did check it, and it wasn't uh, sitting on it, which is really, really good. So I did leave it on there. I think it's going to be okay. You'll see the heat test in a second. I, I ran it for a half hour, so I'm going to show you that results in one minute. Uh, so I said I did put a, a pad on the bottom, and I did put a pad on top, and this is just a recap cap of the video I made and I did insert the, the chip this is just a, a quick uh, video to show you how to do that if you want to see the whole video at the end I'll show you that there'll be a, a card at the end of this video so you can see the whole video if you want to see that but I did install this card and it seemed to work really well I got put a bottom uh, thermal pad on I put a top thermal pad on and there is clearance in the bottom of that so it's not hitting the um, circuit board and I think that was a big concern somebody had so I really appreciate that I did check that and it was not hitting it so I think it's going to be okay it's given maximum thermal um, 
thermal, I guess, clearance. So let's see how it works. So this is the enclosure all done and finished. So now the next part I'm going to show you here is the actual test for I did a 30 minute test with the load with using black magic, uh, black speed test. Uh, and uh, the reason why I did this because I didn't have anything really large to start with. So the car, uh, the drive was ice cold when I started, was not warm at all. And I just started from zero. And you can see here this, the, the speeds are 2,500, 2,600, right around there and very consistent. So I said, okay, I'm going to run this for a half hour straight and see what we end up with. I'm going to use my thermal gun. We're going to test the, the heat, how hot this got. And you're going to be surprised at the end. So watch this. And I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to get snippets of this and just show you that. No, you don't have to watch this for a half hour. It's just too much. Um, but it performed really well. I shut the light off. I said, let's let this run in the background. Let it go. Let's see what happens. I checked on it again. Around 20 minutes came back. Still performing very well, 2,500, 2,600, right around there, and there's no th no throttling at all. So I think these drive this drive is excellent. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, and the chip, the the Western Digital chip is performing exactly as intended. It's working very very well. So no issues at all. It ran and it, it was getting warmer and warmer. And I'll show you the, the test in a minute. That's this is almost over. Um, the test of the temperature of the drive, and it got pretty warm. I was surprised how hot it got, but it really stopped at that point. Again, 30 minutes going back and forth, back. And forth and just you know and then reading and writing back and forth you can see 30 minutes 103 degrees 105 degrees and it was pretty warm warm to the touch um so that's what i have for you this is the result so hope you enjoyed this quick update uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe i really appreciate everyone commenting on the yellow video i'll leave it at the end of this video you can watch that video i really appreciate everyone thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next review